Early voting is now over at satellite locations in Marion County, and the final day saw long lines once again. Tonight, our Matt McCutcheon brings us perspective about what that could mean for those on voting, voting on Election Day, as well as the potential results. I got here at 8 o'clock this morning. Two hours before early voting started at Lucas Oil Stadium, Latroy Ford claimed his spot as one of the first dozen to vote. I stood for like an hour and a half, so by then I had to get my little chair and sit down for the last little minute, so just talking to, you know, meeting people. This election to me is very important. That's part of why Michi Day decided to come early and wait. America is divided right now. We are divided. People are showing too much hatred. Personally, I feel Tuesday is going to be too much animosity in the air. I don't feel safe doing it on Tuesday. I really don't. Amid long lines here, precincts wonder what to expect on Tuesday. I think we'll see a large amount of turnout then on voting um, on Election Day as well. I think there's high interest in this election and I think that people will really turn out. The Benjamin Harrison presidential site is one of 188 open to all Marion County residents on Election Day. Voting machines have been dropped off, but experts say history suggests it could be slow. Numbers from the Secretary of State's office shows Indiana had a 58% turnout in the 2012 and 2016 presidential elections, but absentee and early voting jumped 11% in 2016. Research has shown the vast majority of people who are doing that are simply taking advantage of the convenience. In other words, they're people who would have voted on election day. And history also gives us perspective about who could win Indiana. There are a few polls that have shown that President Trump has a pretty comfortable lead here. It's not the 19 points he won by, but it's still a pretty comfortable lead. The fact that uh, Vice President Pence did a little bit of a campaign stop in, in Fort Wayne is an indication that they saw some reason to try and bump up turnout. Now, as we mentioned, satellite voting in Marion County is now over. However, you can still vote at the City County Building downtown until 9 o'clock tonight. And the CCB is back open tomorrow morning to vote from 8 until noon. Also, you can drop off your absentee ballots at the main post office tomorrow from 3 until 10 p.m.